Good morning. Welcome to A Little Bit of Hope. It is a beautiful day outside, fall, no doubt, but still um, a blessing to experience the change of seasons. This morning I was thinking about the coming of Pentecost and how impactful that was to the church and certainly to the disciples. And we're here at the start of Acts 2. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Can you imagine that setting? That must have been almost awe moment. Because if we follow later on, we start to realize that they are trying to figure out how can this happen? How can all of these native tongues, and there were several there, how could they have heard this in their own native language. But yet, when we think about how God moves, God can move across boundaries that we struggle with. God can move heaven and earth because time and all these constraints that we have are not an issue for God. And I guess maybe that's some of the hope that I have as I'm reading settings like this is there the people are trying to grasp it. We struggle. We strive to understand what we can't understand. And yet that's where faith takes over. Trust takes over. And our understanding in a sense because for the first time, as Pentecost came to rest on each and every one of them, the Holy Spirit resides in us and is documented as such. Because the Holy Spirit resides in us, there's no question on whether God is with us and whether we have the ability to be reconciled and experience all of God's holiness, if we can allow that to happen. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank and praise you for this beautiful day you've given to us and for this time together. We ask, Lord, that you continually open our hearts and our minds to all that you have to offer. We thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit, which is our counselor, our guide, and you in us, truly. We ask, Lord, that in this time and in this place, we are able to allow the Holy Spirit to just take a hold of us and guide us away from our sinful nature towards your holiness. To guide our thoughts and our actions so they move from an inward position to an outward position. Lord, we'd ask that you lay your hands upon those who are struggling today, those who are mourning. And we ask, Lord, that you bless them and you care for them. Give them comfort. Whether it be the loss of a loved one, loss of a friend, employment. We lift to you those who are anxious, Lord, those who have friends, family, in the military who are being uh, deployed or who are deployed. And we ask for protection. We lift to you the setting over in Israel, in the Gaza Strip, and we ask for peace, Lord. 
you know that setting in the hearts of the people far better than we can. We lift to you, Lord, those who are recovering and truly preparing for surgery or maybe even reporting for surgery today or procedures. And we ask what you lay your hands upon them to the doctors and the nurses and, of course, your, your healing hands. And just like at Pentecost, Lord, we ask that you touch each and every one of us this day in a way that we feel your presence, your calming nature, and experience your blessings. To you, Lord, be all honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, good morning. It is great to see you up online. What a blessing it is. And just ask any comments, concerns, prayer requests, if you can leave those in the comment section below. Until we do see each other again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Share a kind word, a random act of kindness. Pray for someone. Give them a call and tell them you've done that. Touch a life today and share certainly with those who are struggling. God is always with us, no matter what setting we may feel or whether we feel God's presence. So my friends, until we do see each other again, again, thank you for spending time with me in scripture. Be safe, God bless you, and look forward to our time again. Bye for now.